Now the case number three for the equation f dx of qx when qx is to x to power n, we have to remember the three formulas which are very important for this. That is, first of all is 1 upon 1 plus x to the power n. By the binomial expansion, you know that it will be 1 plus nx plus n n minus 1 upon 2 factorial of x square and so on. But in the particular case, when n is equals to minus 1, then it will be 1 plus x to the power minus 1, which will become 1 minus, when I put n as minus 1, it will become minus x plus when I put n is close to minus 1 here, I will get only x square, then minus x cube and so on. In the case when n is it close to minus 1 and x is it close to also minus x, then it is 1 minus x to the power minus 1. Then in this case, when x become minus x, these minus signs always get into the positive one and that is 1 plus x square x plus x square plus x cube and so on. These are very important for solving these. this case, case number third. Now let us do some examples. You will understand how these three formulas are important. Now see this example, this very simple example I have taken first. Now the auxiliary equation is m square minus 13m plus 12 is equal to 0 or I can say m minus 1 m minus 12 is equal to 0 so m is equal to 1 and 12 so the complementary function is y is equal to c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power 12x this is a simple way now in the case of particular integral. The function will become 1 upon d square minus 13d plus 12 of x. Remember I have to make it convert it in the form of 1 plus x form or 1 minus x form. So for this I will take 12 as a common so it will become 1 upon 12 such that 1 plus d square minus 13d upon 12 of x. By doing this, I have an easy way to solve it now. 1 by 12 as it is, put this one as upper and it will become 1 plus d square minus 13d upon 12 to the power minus 1 of x. As I told you, the formula 1 plus x to the power minus 1, it will become 1 upon 12 by doing, expanding it by this formula. First of all, you just take the term x. There is x. If y is equal to x, then the first derivative will be 1 and the second derivative will become 0. I have to just go till second derivative, not more than this. So when I expand it, I will become it will become 1 plus d square minus 13d upon 12. Here is the second derivative and first derivative which we have used. Again, the second expansion will be that is 1 minus then plus d square minus 13d square upon 12 of and so on. As I can see here, when I expand it, there is a minimum power of d square we will get and the d square will become 0. So it means this for this particular part, the derivative will always 0. So while we use it, 
I just take this term only, it will become 1 by 12, 1 minus d square minus 13d upon 12 of x. Now just multiply, I will get 1 by 12, this will become x minus second derivative of x, d square of x minus 13 d of x upon 12. You see here second derivative of x will be 0. So the equation will become 1 by 12 x minus this will become 0. First derivative will be 1 means 13 x upon 12. So the pi is x by 12 minus minus plus that is will be 1 sorry minus minus plus that is 13 upon 144 so the solution is y is equals to cf plus pi just add these both solution you will get the answer Now this is the example in which the first case, second case and the case number third, all the three cases I have taken. So now solve it, substitute auxiliary equation m square plus 4 is equal to 0 means m is equal to plus minus iota 2. So the complementary function will be y is equal to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. Now for the pi, it will be 1 upon d square plus 4 sin 3x plus e to the power x plus x square. Or it will be 1 upon d square plus 4 sin 3x plus 1 upon d square plus 4 e to the power x plus 1 upon d square plus 4 x square. For this one I have taken a as 3 it will become minus 3 square plus 4 sin 3x. Here put here coefficient of x is 1 put here that will 1 square plus 4 e to the power x. But in this case I have taken 4 as out it will become 1 upon 1 plus d square by 4. I just write it again. d square by 4 of x square. Now for doing ahead it will become minus 9 plus 4 means minus 1 by 5 sin 3x. It will become 1 plus 1, 4, 5, piece 1 by 5 e to the power x. And in this case, it is become 1 by 4, 1 plus d square by 4 to the power minus 1 x square. For doing furtherly, first of all, we take the x square as d, y is plus 2 x square. And the first derivative is 2 x second derivative will be 2 and the third derivative will become 0. So I just need to go till the third derivative not more than that. So I will expand this as 1 by 5 sin 3x plus 1 by 5 e to the power x plus 1 by 4 it will be 1 minus d square by 4 plus d to the power 4 upon 16 and so on neglect the ring a that is x square I actually I don't need d4 also but I just write it for you and nothing for this now just do the further 1 by 5 sin 3x plus 1 by 5 e to the power x plus 1 by 4 this x square multiply by 1 it is from x square minus second derivative of x square, second derivative of x square is 2, it will become 2 by 4. Therefore, 
the pi is nothing simple it is this is 1 minus 1 by 5 sin 3 x plus 1 by 5 e to the power x plus 1 by 4 x square minus 1 by 2 therefore the complete solution y is plus to cf plus pi or it will be c1 cross 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus minus sorry minus 1 by 5 sin 3x plus 1 by 5 e to the power x plus 1 by 4 x square minus 1 by 2 this is the required solution of the given equation now this is the case number 4 if there is a multiple of two functions in which one function is exponential and other is any function of x either a polynomial or a technometric means in a form of sin x or x to the power n but the one function as a exponential e to the power a x then we will take one exponential function at this side by taking the coefficient of x of exponential to the function as a plus a see here how to solve it first of all the auxiliary equation is m square minus 2m plus 4 is equal to 0 or it is nothing just by solving I will get the solution of this will be as m is equal to by taking the quadrate formula I can say it is 1 plus minus under root 2 under root 2 or 3 3 iota so the complementary function will be y is it close to e to the power x c1 cross root 3x plus c2 sin root 3x this is a complementary function you know how to find it I am just not taking the time on this just we have go to the particular integral now it is 1 upon d square minus 2d plus 4 e to the power ax here ax लेने की बजाय हम सो only x लें या कुछ और x ही ले लेते हैं चलो अभी then it will be e to the power x cross x here the coefficient is 1 so I just use it in here I can say it will become e to the power x I just stated it on the left side and now give the coefficient 1 to the d's that is d plus 1 whole square minus 2 d plus 1 plus of 4 e to the power x is already there then it is become cross x only now this equation will become as 1 upon this will be e to the power x into 1 upon this will be d square plus 2d plus 1 minus 2d minus 2 plus 4 of cross x or it will be e to the power x 1 upon d square or you say that 2d say 2d cancel out that is 4 plus 1 plus 3 of cross x now you know how to solve the technometric form of this here the coefficient of x is 1 so it is e to the power x 1 upon minus 1 square plus 3 cross x or it will be e to the power x cross x upon 2 so therefore solution is y is equal to e to the power x c1 cross root 3x plus c2 sin root 3x plus e to the power x 
cos x by 2 I hope you understand how to solve I just take a simple example now just take another example now now this is this question I have to solve it I am just going to the solving of particular integral you know how to find the complementary function cf I just go in for the pi now that is 1 upon d square minus 2d plus 1 x square 3x here exponential function with an algebraic so take the 3x on the left side and just put the value of d plus 3 whole square minus 2 d plus 3 plus 1 of x square I hope you understand how now it will become e to the power 3x 1 upon d square here will be 6d there will be minus 2d means plus 4d here will be 9 minus 6 means plus 3 plus 1 means 4 of x square now because there is an algebraic form so I have to do here just taking 4 as in common in this way term this is 1 plus d square plus 4d upon 4 x to the power 2 or it is e to the power 3x by 4 it will become 1 plus d square plus 4d by 4 to the power minus 1 of x now again for doing further it is x square I have x square then the first derivative will be 2x second derivative will be 2 and the third derivative will become 0 so I have to do maximumly third derivative jahan tar aay ra wahan lehenge so let's expand karein so it is e to the power 3x by 4 it will be 1 minus d square plus 4d by 4 plus d square plus 4d whole square upon 16 of x square I will just use the that power which will be used in our first second and third derivative till then that is 1 minus d square plus 4d by 4 as it is here I will don't use the power 4 because it will become 0 power 3 it will also become 0 so there is only one term which have given the power 2 that is 4d square this is 16 d square by 16 of x square and all the power can be neglected here 16 16 cancel out now just multiply it it will be e to the power 3x by 4 x square second derivative of x square is 2 so it will become minus 2 plus first derivative is 2x 4 into 2x upon 4 plus here is the second derivative of x square is 2 so it is e to the power 3x by 4 x square that will be 8x plus 2 upon 4 if I take the 2 as a common or furtherly you can do it I can just write it as 2 plus 8x upon 4 plus 2 clear now just use it as a modification rule so we can say it is e to the power 3x by 4 x square as it is minus 8x by 4 means minus 2x that is minus 1 by 2 plus 2 means plus 3 by 2 is the required pi I hope you understand now the case number 4 how to solve it 
now let us do draw for the next now this is the last and the final case 5 of the function where a function is of x and the other function is a any word, anything else is a sine function or exponential function particularly there always a trigonometric function sine or cos just as I take an example d square plus 4 of y plus 2 x sine x there is a multiple of x with the trigonometric function so when there is a multiple of x then we will apply this formula so I am going to till straight forward to the pi it is d square 1 upon d square plus 4 of x sin x again by using this formula I can say it can become, become as x minus derivative of fd fd is this one the derivative of this will be 2d minus z plus 0 whatever it is upon f of d as it is d square plus 4 as it is into 1 upon f of d of v v is sin x and f of d is d square plus 4 of sin x now for the first we solve this one part is is take it as it is 2d d square plus 4 as it is first solve it by putting coefficient of x is 1 by putting here I will get 1 by 3 sin x now 1 by 3 as in out the other part is x minus 2d upon d square plus 4 of sin x again it will become 1 by 3 x minus 2d upon put the coefficient again here it is become 3 sin x now just multiply you will get the answer it will become x sin x by 3 minus 2 by 9 derivative of sin x is cos x this is our pi no no how to find out the cf so this is the linear differential equation with constant coefficients all the questions I have done here is very important and uh, these type of questions is particularly asked in the BSc and BTA exams do it carefully now practice it in the next lecture we will discuss about the homogeneous equations with variable coefficients I am particularly especially Jor De is Baat Par with the variable coefficients means till now we always get the constant here now in the further next exam lecture we will take the examples of these differential equations which have variable coefficient of x there till then practice it and bye